All right, Shalom, first and foremost. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Kadash, Brakathon. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that were well, and the salute and the Shalom to all the Akim that were out there laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. Right. Oh well, yeah. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders. We have millstone they were well, and a salute and a shalom to all the Akim. That were out here laboring, pushing the truth and all sincerity in the truth. All right. Uh, I believe the lesson is going to be titled, Jay, are you ready to lose it all? Or something like that. All right. Because what we have, material wise, we can't take it with us anyway. So why hold on to it? Okay, this is First uh, Timothy. First Timothy. Um, First Timothy. Six. First Timothy six and seven. It says. It says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out, right? So we, so we didn't bring anything in this world, man. So we can't take nothing with us, okay? So when that time comes, you're going to have to make a decision, okay? Either... Take the Maxine um, and be in, all right, uh, uh, um, um, and be in, included in this, in this, um, in this uh, society, or, or, not take it and be outcast, and be outcasted, and be shunned from everyone else. Okay. Then what? Then the uh, chip, right? Either you're going to take the chip so you can get get all the perks, right? So you can be able to roam freely by the, the new Jordans, by the new uh, uh, PlayStation 6 or 7, okay? So you can live, live comfortably or, once again, be shunned from this society or be put to death for not taking the chip you're gonna you're gonna have to make your mind up because even when because even if you take it okay and you get all the perks well guess what when you die what did you bring with you nothing so what's the point of of Taking the chip, just so you can get all the perks that everyone that everyone else is getting, when you can't take nothing with you anyway when you die. See, so which is so which is better, man? All right. Uh, um, um, um. 
losing everything so that you can get what you lost back plus more in the kingdom or taking the chip right kind of, or taking the maxing on the chips just so you can get get what everyone else is getting Hold on real quick let's see mm. this is a uh, joke. 1 and 21 it says and i said naked came i out of my out of my con it says it says naked it says and naked came out came i out my mother's womb and naked shall i return yahweh gave and yahweh hath taken away blessed be the name of yahweh right now job job lost everything he had but one thing he didn't lose, though, was his faith. Okay? But at the end of Job's ordeal, what happened, man? Job, he was blessed with, with more than what he had at first. Mm, it says, this is Proverbs 27 and 24. It says, for riches are not forever. And doeth the crown endure to every generation? Let's see. Mm. So, Jay, is riches forever? No, it's not. See? Tripping, 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 hold on. First Timothy 6 and 7. Let's get it. Look at this, it says. Uh, mm. All right. It says what? It says, for the fashion of this world passeth away, right? So, the way the world is now, right? It's the way the world is, is going now, man, is going to pass away. It's going to pass away, man. Okay? Plus, this is not our rest anyway. This is our captivity. This is our hell. Okay, so our rest is in the kingdom. This is this ain't the kingdom yet. Okay? So why would you sell yourself short just to be destroyed afterwards? Do that make any sense? No, it don't. is Philippians 3 and 8. Philippians 3 and 8, it says, God says, uh, I started 7. But what things were given, it's like it says, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for the excellency of the Mashiach. So like it. Hmm, it says, but what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach, right? Yea, doubtless I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of, of, of Mashiach, Yahweh my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach, right? So what we have 
we we would have to count that what as shit because it's worthless anyway. Everything we have, man, right? We be all right. Uh, um, all of us have what a car, a house, a worthless ass job, right? So we're gonna have to count that as shit, as something that's worthless. Okay? Now, a lot of these jinks that say they in the truth, they have they have the mindset of trying to um, accumulate wealth and riches knowing knowing damn well that the prophecies are popping off okay and that the right and that our salvation is nearer than when we believed but they still trying to what accumulate what riches and wealth for what man for what for what you can't take it with you. Now, the real riches and the and the real wealth is these scriptures, right? Is it is this is these is these scriptures and this knowledge, man? Now we're going to get the riches, the wealth, and all that, man, in the kingdom. This says what uh, no man having left no. oh come on No man have okay. No. no. Ain't it Matthew sixteen? Might be Matthew sixteen. Hold on, let's see real quick. Let's see. I believe it's Matthew sixteen. I went into it yesterday. I just went into it last night. Okay, kind of mark. Well, let's get uh, Matthew 19. Matthew 19 and 20, 20, what? Yeah, 27. No, I guess. Yep, 29. It says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay, so those of us that have given up everything, right? Now, did we actually leave our 
children? No, we didn't. Right? But we did what though? We put this gospel first. We put this ministry first, first, man. Okay? Because Yahweh Bashim al Shah comes first. This work comes first. This ministry comes first. Comes first. This faith comes first. Okay? So everything we lost, we're going to get it back. A hundredfold. It says what in um in Isaiah? Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60 and, uh, and 11. It says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. See? So, the forces of the Gentiles is what? The riches, the wealth of the heathen. We're going to get that. It's, it's ours anyway. See? So, see, so, Jay. Why not just wait for everlasting riches and everlasting wealth in the kingdom? Why not wait for that? It's worth it, ain't it? It's worth it, right? Yes, it's worth it, man. All right? Mm. Uh, this is uh, verse 16 it says thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shall suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh thy savior and thy redeemer the mighty one of Jacob so we're going to suck the milk of the Gentiles we're going to suck the breast of kings what's that once again their riches their wealth we're going to get that so Jake everlasting riches and wealth is in the kingdom right now temporal Wealth and riches, guess what? That's in the world, world, man. It's temporary. It don't last forever, man. Let me get this. Matthew 6. Matthew 6 and 19 to 21. It says, Lay up not, it's like, it's like it says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. Right? So don't lay up for yourselves riches and wealth on this earth. Come on, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because they will become what? Corrupt. They don't last, they're all right, man. They won't last forever, man. They won't last forever. It says, but lay up for your treasures, kind of says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, right? Treasures in heaven. 
where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, where thieves do not break through and steal. Right? So, Jay, if you take the chip, right, if you take the max, if you, if you take the chip, right, and you acquire all this, all these, all this wealth and all this shit, shit, man, Jay, your house can be broken into. You can still get robbed for everything you got. Okay, you can get robbed for it. For, yeah, you can get robbed for it, man. You can still be, it can still be taken from you. But Jake, can your, all right, but Jake, can your riches and wealth in the kingdom, can that be taken from you? No, it can't. And it just said, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. So it won't get old says, and where thieves do not break through and steal. Jake, you won't get robbed in the kingdom, man. You won't. All right, Jake, you won't get jacked in the kingdom, man. Jake, your home won't get burglarized in the kingdom. It won't happen at all. Verse 21, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, right? Now, you got some, some Jakes that's, uh, that's only focused on, on getting rich and all that. Here. So their mind is always focused on that. But then you have, what, the elect of the nation of Israel, of Yahshua Allah, right? That's, that's accumulating and acquiring what? Everlasting riches and everlasting wealth. Where? In the kingdom. In heaven. All right? Job chapter okay here it is this is uh, Job chapter 42 and 12 it says so Yahweh blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning for he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and 6,000 yoke of oxen in a thousand she asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. Right? It also says this, right? It says, verse 15, And in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. Hmm. Right? So, what Job received was wealth and riches, more wealth and more riches than he had at first. Why? Because Job, he stayed faithful until the end, man. He never gave up. He never gave he never gave up, man. Right? So Jacob says what? Um, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah, right? Jake, now did not Job endure hardness? Everything that Job went through, he kept the faith, man. And he said what? Uh, um, uh, um, Yahweh giveth and he taketh away. So, Jake, who's taking everything from us? Yahweh Bashem El Shai is. Why? So we won't have 
have anything um, that all right, man, so we won't have no attachments to this world, man. No attachments. Okay? Jake, it's only for our good, man. It's for our good. Okay? Now, now, Yahweh, what Yahweh Shah also gives. Right? So, we're going to be blessed with with innumerable amounts of riches in the kingdom right now king solomon i mean his kingdom um i forgot the website i looked it up on but solomon but king solomon was a I believe he was, yeah, yeah, Khan, yep, yeah, he was a trillionaire, man. He was a trillionaire, right? We had businesses and all that, man. Investments, all that. Now, that's on a small, small scale, scale, man. Now, now we are joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, right? Well, then everything that Yahweh Shah gets, we're going to get it. Okay. So, Jake, are you ready to, to lose everything, man? Are you ready to lose your house, your job, your car? Or are you ready to lose everything, man? Are you? Are you ready to lose everything, man? Because cause me, man, I don't have nothing no way. See? So, I don't have no attachments, man. Right? It says what? It says, the spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Mm. It also says what? Remember Lot's wife. Now, what did Lot's wife do? Lot's wife, she looked back. Why? Because of all the riches and all that they had in Sodom and Gomorrah. And she was turned into a pillar of salt. Now, now, Jake, did Job, this is like, not Job, all right, but Jake, did Lot look back? No, he didn't, man. Lot, he, Lot, Lot, he never looked back. He kept going. Two and ten. It says, "Fear, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life." It also says this, uh, Revelation three and ten. He says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. Right? 
Now, it says to keep thee from the hour of temptation, man. What's that, man? You will basically be able to overcome the hour of temptation, man. Meaning you won't fall, you won't fall, you won't give up, man. Right? You will make it through the hour of temptation. Right, man? Uh, 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 um, right, man? Uh, uh, even, right, uh, um, even if it comes to death or being delivered from it. See? So, so Jay, are you ready to lose everything, man? Are you ready to lose everything that you got? Okay? So, so with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bash, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Karka, Bash, Bokatham. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone they will wear. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring, pushing the truth and all sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say, all right, and with that, I say, shalom.